The MIND diet has been associated with lower risk of Alzheimer's disease, but a latest randomized control trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine showed otherwise. In this randomized control trial, the scientists wanted to test the cognitive effect of the MIND diet with mild caloric restriction compared to a control diet with mild caloric restriction. 604 people were enrolled, 301 were assigned to the MIND diet group, and 303 were assigned to the control group. The mean age of the population was 70, and all of the participants were cognitive cognitively healthy. They all received counseling regarding adherence to their assigned diet plus support to promote weight loss. The primary endpoint was any change in their baseline cognition score and the secondary outcome was the change in their brain MRI findings. As an incentive, the MIND diet group received a monthly supply of blueberries, two and a half cups per week, mixed nuts, five ounces per week, and extra virgin olive oil, about 14 tablespoons per week. The participants in the control diet group received $30 gift cards at the same frequency. All the participants met five times in group sessions in three years, which which included education about their assigned diet, tips to promote mild weight loss, and other motivational activities such as cooking sessions and some fun stuff. Then the pandemic happened and they received counseling over the phone. There was some attrition, 44 people declined to return after the pandemic and the statistics were rearranged. Cognition was assessed at baseline and at months 6, 12, 24, and 36. They also did blood tests in a subgroup of the population to make sure that the participants were eating the things that they were supposed to. What did the results show? Both groups had improvement in their cognitive scores, but they were tiny and it was almost the same for both groups. Their MRI scans were the same as well. They both lost the same amount of weight. And the conclusion was that in cognitively healthy people, the mind diet with calorie restriction was not any better in preventing cognitive decline than a suboptimal diet with the same calorie restriction. So what does this mean for us? To begin, randomized control trials are a big deal. Comparing an intervention with a control group is a good way to tell whether the intervention works or not. But this one had a few but big limitations. First of all, we have to stop saying that the mind diet didn't work. It worked. But the difference between the mind diet group and the suboptimal group was not significant. Second, even though they did a power analysis, the sample size of 300 healthy people most likely may not have been large enough to detect any signal, further skewing the significance towards the null. And the tools that they used were not sensitive enough to detect this change. Third, three years may not have been long enough to detect neurodegenerative changes in a healthy population. Fourth, both groups were invited to social events and they interacted with each other. They both participated in lifestyle talks, raising the possibility that the suboptimal diet group may have also made some improvements to their diet. The study started in 2017 and ended in 2021. The peak was during the pandemic and this may have introduced a lot of confounding factors and this may explain the dip in the cognitive scores right around 2019. Despite this weak signal, there's still plenty of evidence that a plant predominant dietary pattern with healthy fats, whether that's the MIND diet, Mediterranean, DASH, Prudent, whole food plant-based diet has been associated with lower risk of Alzheimer's disease. We believe this study could have benefited from a more robust design and the methodology might have been influenced by the pandemic phenomenon.